Hello, everybody. I'm going to do an unboxing today of the Witch's Moon. Um, I've been getting this subscription for over a year now, but I thought, what the hell? Everybody else does an unbo unboxing videos. Why don't I try one? So, this is for the month of October. Why not? You see, it comes in a discreet package with the actual Witch's Moon inside. And yes, I know this is flipped, but bear with me, people. Bear with me. I only have a cell phone to tape on, and I'm not good at this. So, get it out of the box, which is always the hardest part because it's so snug in here that it doesn't. Ever, there you go. Woo, that one did not want to come out. Okay, put that over there. All right. I already got some doodle bobs right here. I always take these out and I put them in my rat cage for nest bedding for my rats. Um, maybe I should move that a little bit. I just don't want to be in frame right now, but whatever. And there's my lovely broom in my kitchen. The kitchen has not been spookied, made spooky yet. I have to finish the living room before I start here. But anyway, so this is it, which is moon for October. And we open, and what do we find? Of course, we have our own little cards in here. This month, this month's theme is pro, 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 tre, Protectress of the Veil. Vale. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be some cool stuff, I'm sure. Ugh. Oh. I'm sweating. Anywho. Got my little, I guess it goes this way. It's my little uh, card from some sort of deck. Authenticity. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. And that's the card. And that looks pretty cool. So there's my card. I wonder if I can just, like... I'll stack everything up and then I'll show you at the end if that makes sense because I'm at my kitchen table and there's not a lot of room. And then this is Whispers in the Night. Um, Whispers in the Night I call upon and humbly invite my ancestors and spirit guides within this circle of power. I call, for the, I call upon the protectors of the veil to keep my energy safe, to keep my heart scaled, scaled, scald. Um, deep within nightly shadows, brightened and by prophetic, prophetic stars, I sit awake and aware of wonders, keen, keen to the messages from afar, and so on and so on. So it's a nice little spell. I love their art. I really do. I love their art. I just, I just do. I really love it. I just think it's cool. Like... And I eventually plan to put the little spells, these these ones, eventually will go in a Book of Shadows of mine um, because they are small enough to fit. Um, the big pieces of art like this, which, who did we have this month? We have Medusa. She a bad bitch. Um, we have Medusa. That's her. Um, big, big artwork like this goes into a binder I have with... Um, um, the clear, uh, the clear pages. God, y'all can see my double chin so bad. Anyway, with the, um, the clear little folder protector pages, like the, where you put your papers in and it keeps them safe from getting wet and stuff. I have a binder of those. These go in that. And they will always be in that because I want to make sure they stay safe. And actually it's almost full, so I need to get a bigger one, but that's neither here nor there. Last month was the goddess Nyx, and oh man, she was she's pretty badass. Medusa is also badass. It has all her information on it. Um, element of water, celestial moon influence, um, all kinds of stuff. Offerings to give her, all this stuff. So that's cool. So we got Medusa and a spell. 
and a card. Ooh, yes! I was hoping they would give us one. They've been lately, they've been giving, the like this year, they've been giving um, the, the salt, the salt scrubs. They've been doing um, this year uh, for different Sabbaths and Abbots. They've been doing like for each one. They've been giving up s certain ones. Have been getting salt, and um, we got all the we got all we got bass. Uh, we got let's see, Lamas one. We got a um. Uh, I'm blanking now. We didn't get a Maybon one, or did we get a Maybon one? I don't think we got a Maybon one. No. Oh, no. No, we didn't get one actually for Maybon. We got Maybon oil last time, though. But Samhain, they got, they gave us a Samhain scrub. It's pronounced Samhain, not Sam Hain. Sam Hain is a band from the 80s. Um, I love these. I don't have a tub. This is the only thing that sucks, right? I don't have a tub. So what I do is I will put one of, some of this in a little organza bag, one of those little like meshy bags that you get in boxes like these. And then I will take it in the shower and I'll wash like with regular soap and all that. And then right before my shower's done, I'll take that bag and put it under the water to get wet. And then I'll rub that all over and do a scrub that way. Um, it works, it does work. I've been using the same, oh damn. Oh my God, that smells so good. <laughs> These smell so good. I just got salt on my nose. <laughs> oh wow, what is that? Oh, that smells really familiar. What is that? Is that honeysuckle? Oh, there's something in there. There's like honey or something in this. Uh, but yeah, we have one for Sal one now. So I think... I think almost all of them are done, except for Maybon. They didn't do May. I don't know. I have to look. Last month we got, with NYX, we got Persephone. Oh, that was some nice shit. Um, here's the oil. You always get an oil, and you almost always get a scrub. I have so much oil, it's not even funny. And this is Medusa oil. Medusa oil. Ooh, that's interesting. Hmm. Now this has more of a stronger scent than 